Hello, everyone. All right, I'm doing this a little different, so hang with me for a second. I want to see this pop up on my page that I'm actually live. Boom, here I am. All right, how's the feed? All right, we're good. I think I can actually see comments. So I'm on StreamYard. Down with the Zoom. <laughs> I'm not using Zoom. I'm using StreamYard. StreamYard is way freaking cooler anyway. So tell me hello in the comments. I'll wait just a minute. I do that influencer thing. I don't consider myself an influencer, but you know that joke. So wait till somebody pops on. Say hello to me. And I do believe I can actually see your comments here. I may not be able to see your name, but I may. I didn't have time to change my settings. So connect with me. We're going to do some tapping. And we're going to do it in maybe a different way than you have ever experienced before. Uh, all right. Say hello to me. I'm just not going to tap by myself. I refuse. Um, put hashtag replay in the comments if you're watching the replay. And so what I want to do, I'm just going to talk to myself for a little while. While I'm waiting on people to pop on because I know that I want to honor everybody that's watching the replay. What we're going to do here is we are going to do what I like to call intuitive tapping. So let me just get into channel. I What I find... <sighs> let the expansion flow through, Monica. What I find when I first start in a live stream is that uh, my nerves get in the way just a little bit because I'm not going live as much as I used to. So I'm going to fix that by going live more often. And it takes me a minute to like whoop, get into that space where I'm actually allowing that bigger part of myself to flow through and really give you some deep, deep value. So I'm going to take a few deep breaths and encourage you to do the same. I see one person. It looks like one person is on. I want you to say hi to me in the comments. You're the first. You're special. Say hello to me. I know I've got a couple other people who said they were going to come too. So hopefully uh, they refresh their feed and, and see me pop up in, eventually. Ugh. If you don't have any water, run and get some water. We're going to activate our water as a portal to experience all of the fullness that this life is calling us forward into. And then we are going to, as we go into the quantum, really open up our uh, space of receiving, connecting with our super conscious self, our soul, our higher, our higher self, our inner being, whatever you like to call it, connecting with source God spirit, connecting with mother earth. We're going to activate all of that magic and then go into some intuitive tapping. And what I'm really going to do is just kind of feel into the field, uh, see what might be present. You're welcome to tell me in the comments what might be present for you. Let me go over to Facebook here and just see if anyone has actually commented without me seeing the comments. No, I don't see anything. So if you are engaging, I'm not seeing it. My apologies. Um, it's all good, though. So Coming to the now moment, let's um, let's release some bullshit. So this full moon has been very big. We say that a lot, don't we? But I believe I'm not a huge I'm not huge into the study of astrology. I appreciate what so many amazing astrologers bring, but the the uh, knowledge is not really there for me. So I just know a little bit. You're welcome to put some uh, input in the comments, but I believe we had two full moons this month, which made or last month rather, which made the the energetic portal even bigger. And I have always felt full moons as a time to purge and release the old. There's a lot of retrograde going on right now, and retrograde. You know, you think of. Um, issues with our devices, uh, kind of a pause, you know, like we're really going into that space of reflection and life review. And it's all been amplified right now. We just had the Lionsgate portal come up, come, come up. We've got the nine, nine coming up. So there's so much magic here for us. And the space that we are now sitting as a collective consciousness, we have raised the vibration of the planet because we're total badasses and we came for this right? We came for this. We said yes to this and we're doing the damn thing. There's no turning back. The illusion is getting deep and wide and loud, but all of it is falling away. There, it truly is no turning back. 
And so let's co-create, let's amplify our energies together. Let's ride the wave of these energetic portals as we're moving into, I believe the 13th or 14th is the new moon. So we're, we purged with the, the full moon and now we're going to manifest with the new moon. And so as we breathe and come into the now moment and as I'm, you know, jabbering, just drink some water, start really coming present into your body, feel your body, uh, feel where the resistance might be in your body. Is it in your shoulders? Is it in your solar plexus? Is it in your hips? Is it in your legs? Where are you holding the tension? Do you have a headache? Bring awareness to that now. And so it's a holistic journey, right? Body, mind, and spirit. We want all parts of self and that bigger aspect of self on board, all layers of our energy, all systems, all organs on deck. And so we've got to be present with our body on this journey because it's not just a spiritual journey. It's a physical and a spiritual journey. We came for a kick ass physical experience, wealth in all the ways, right? Bliss in all the ways, pleasure in all the ways. And so let's allow our bodies to release the old and create the space, the expansion that we are being called forward into in order to fully experience, rapidly manifest what the divine wants to deliver to us because there's not there's nothing outside of us right it's all in here everything around us is a projection there's no place to go there's nothing to bring in it is really to project the fullness of that which we are and so we get still we get silent we tap into the universal consciousness that is our connect, connection, the co-creation. We tap into the super conscious self, which is our massive soul, our over soul. So that we can have infinite access to all of the magic that we desire to project and create our heaven on earth. Smile, breathe, feel your shoulders, relax your shoulders, drop your shoulders, open your chest. Okay, and now it's starting to flow, y'all. Thanks for bearing with me as I get into that space of receptivity so that I can serve you on the highest because it's all about the highest and greatest good. It's all about pure intention, right? The pure intention in our heart that is often clouded by all of the bullshit from previous lives, <laughs> all of the lies that we were told or told ourselves growing up as children, clouding the truth that is our massive, expansive, abundant, magical self. And so feel the energy around you. Allow all the thoughts to go as thoughts come in, just place them in a cloud and watch them pass by. The goal is not a silent mind. The goal is just to be as still and silent as you can to come back to the heartbeat. If thoughts come in, feel your heartbeat. And if you have to place your hand on your heart, to bring your focus back to center, back to the most powerful portal, which is the heart. The only truth that I know is love. Everything is accessed through love, fully loving all parts of self, everything, all of the mistakes, 
that aren't really mistakes, are they? All of the pain that aren't really pains, are they? Opportunities to grow. All of the people in our lives that we view or feel are a stress or trouble, they are our greatest teachers. And the moment that we realize that they're our greatest teachers, our struggles are our greatest opportunities and truly our greatest superpowers once we transmute those. We release all resistance for everything that is, that's when the magic happens. Take a nice deep breath. And so now as we have maybe slowed our mind a little bit, honored our body through awareness and stillness, Now we can move through a process to clear some of the old stuff out of our body, out of our nervous system, out of our cells, out of our energetic body, so that we are a clear channel to receive the magic that we came to create with all versions of ourself because we truly are the only one in the room. There's no one but you. I am you. You manifested these words through me. Relax your shoulders. Feel your heartbeat. Be here now. And we have deep reverence for the now moment because it is all there is. It is where our power is in the now moment. And now inviting a physical awareness of your soul into this now moment. It's just intention. Say it out loud or in your mind. I'm inviting my soul into my full awareness now. Relax your shoulders. Relax your hips. Deep breath. Feel the gentle shift in energy. And if you don't feel anything, it's okay. It's all still happening. It's all still happening. I'm feeling the energy of Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, and Jesus. Those are the energies that resonate with me through my childhood, through my awakening. But these are not energies outside of myself. We no longer give our power away to anything outside of us. This is an inside out job, right? These energies are projections of me represented as archetypes that serve me right now in this now moment on my journey. Relax your shoulders. And now acknowledging every breath we take is a clearing. So as we go through this tapping process that you don't know how, how you don't have to know how to do, you're not going to mess it up at all. You're not going to say the wrong words. You're not going to manifest anything bad. It's all a clearing. Your body has the innate ability to heal. You know exactly what you need. Your soul, your body knows your intentions. So you're going to focus on your breath. I'm going to remind you. You're going to focus on your breath through this tapping session because your breath, your low 
breath, your open chest, your relaxed shoulders. These are all signs to your body that you are safe. It is a clearing. Every time you take a breath, drop your shoulders and soften. Now, throughout life, at any moment, in a stressful situation, at any time, you are telling your body you are safe. And just keep breathing with me. You can tap now if you want to start tapping on your central meridian right there on your heart chakra, above your breasts a little bit or right between your breasts. You can start tapping. This is an activation. All of the chatting I'm doing, we're coding each other right now. We're reminding each other of our truths. This is an activation right now. So just be present with me. We're just going to go with the flow and see what comes through. We live our lives, many of us, in fight or flight. We live from the primitive brain because that is what we have been taught. That is the matrix programming that has had a hold of us for eons and eons. No more. We have the tools and the awareness to shift into a wider, more expansive, creative space of being. And every time you breathe in prana, life force energy, drop your shoulders and soften. You are reminding your body that you are safe. You are activating the parasympathetic nervous system, which is your rest and digest. Your parasympathetic nervous system is where the power is. When we are no longer a slave to our lower chakras, when we are no longer living in a space of survival, we move to our upper chakras and that's where our creative power is. Some people are very wealthy, making millions of dollars, but they're still living in scarcity because they're still living in their sympathetic nervous system, rushing, running around, breathing very shallow, and their bodies and their world and their relationships suffer from that. Deep breath. And so what we're going to do during this simple tapping session, we're going to go through some of the basic points. Again, you're not going to mess it up. There are certain EFT practitioners who will probably say I'm doing it wrong, but they get to have their reality and I get to have mine. We get to have ours. And I can tell you from experience, the way that I've been doing it, it works. It moves mountains for me and my clients. So we're going to give it a shot. Keep breathing as you're tapping. Now, before we go to the point on our crown chakra, I want you to tap if you haven't already started tapping. I want you to tap your chest. This is your heart chakra. This is your central meridian. This is the center of everything. This is where Mother Earth and Source anchor into your body. This is where your lower chakras and your upper chakras anchor into your body. This is where we store a lot of BS. We have armored our hearts in order to protect ourselves because that's what our ego told us to do because our ego is just trying to protect us. We must love our ego. It's okay. When your ego comes out to play, you say, ego, I hear you. I see you. I'm good. I'm good. We're going to do this differently right now. I appreciate you. And then you know what you do? You take a deep breath. You breathe, you exhale, and you soften, and you open your chest. And now I want you to take your fists, and I want you to pound on your chest underneath your clavicle, all around between your breasts, here along this area here, the top of your ribs. Oh, take some deep breaths, and if you need to, like I'm feeling a massive clearing right now. I'm a little bit dizzy. We're moving some stuff out of our heart chakra, out of our meridians, out of our entire body. Just pat around. You can do it like this. You can do it with just your fingers, whatever feels good. Take a nice deep breath. 
Uh, you can moan on the exhale to move some energy out. Just pat for a minute. Uh, create a vibration. Feel your shoulders releasing. Move your body a little bit. Oh, releasing years and years, lifetimes of trauma. Releasing the shell that we've placed over our heart to keep our heart safe when really all we've done is block out magical experiences as well. Because when you block the pain and you numb the pain, you block the joy and you numb the joy. And we're willing to feel it all, right? This is what tapping does. It allows you to feel it all. You got to feel it to heal it. We feel it and move it. We don't feel it and become the emotion. Oh, we're releasing years of trauma from our nervous system, from every cell of our body, from our energy field, just in tapping on our heart space. Oh, take a deep breath and now relax. Relax. Feel the vibration. Feel the stillness. Stillness. Feel the vibration that you've created in your body. It's rippling. This shift is rippling into your lineage, into the collective. Mm, take a deep breath. <sighs> now we're going to go through the tapping points. We're not going to tap on anything super specific. Why? Because we don't need to be specific because your body knows exactly what you need, because your soul knows exactly what you need. We're moving through these tapping points with the intention to allow what feelings are present, whether they're good, bad, or ugly in the now moment to come up and be cleared. And so think about a place where you have resistance in your life. Can be a specific person can be a situation, could be around money. I want you to think about that person or situation right now. And I want you to feel it. Don't be afraid. I know this may feel funny, right? Like, oh, I'm going to manifest it if I lean into the feeling. No, you're not. The energy wants to move. If you ignore the feeling, the energy moves in the same way until you allow the feeling to flow through you as you, for you, for us, and move out to make room for something new. So feel it right now. I'm going to think about my situation too. What comes up for you? Is it anger? Is it fear? Do you feel trapped? I feel it in my solar plexus. Where do you feel it? Place your focus in that space on your body where you feel it right now. And I want you to breathe into that space. <laughs> Every breath you take is a clearing. Remember, you may burp, you may fart, you may cough, you may sneeze, you may cry. It's all energy wanting to move out to make room for a new experience. So let it all move through you for you. Deep breath. <sighs> you may want to shake. You may want to moan. Do what feels good. Feel the feeling. Feel the feeling. Now rate the feeling on a scale from zero to 10. Where are you at? You can put it in the chat if you want. I may not see it. I'm totally not seeing the comments. <laughs> you can put it in there. I'm totally not. Let's see. Uh, release the limiting beliefs. Sending love and light. Hello, Nicole. Watching the replay. Beautiful. Okay. Now, you're welcome to put it in the chat. Or just tell yourself, I'm sorry, I should clarify the scale. Zero is, is nothing. Just click off. Ten is it's big, it's huge. It's like, oh my God, I feel like I'm going to jump out of my skin. Okay, now we've got that rated. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to move through the tapping points. Just follow along. I'm going to tap on the top of our head. Ah, now, you can wake up in the morning and tap for five minutes without saying a word and you're clearing trauma from your body. You cannot mess this up. So just keep tapping and we're gonna go through some statements. You can say them out loud or in your mind. For me, the most powerful way to do it is to say it out loud 
And if it feels really big and true to me, to scream it, to be the, match the tone of your voice with the feeling that you're feeling. If what I'm saying doesn't feel quite true to you, say something different. Say what feels true to you. Again, you're not going to mess it up. Say what comes up. Okay, take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Repeat after me. I'll tell you when to move if you want to close your eyes. Sometimes life is so overwhelming. That's how you say it. Relax your shoulders. Feel it. Say it like you mean it. Sometimes life is so overwhelming. And I may cry. If I cry, cry with me. Oh, moan, breathe. Now we're going to move to this point here, right inside our eyebrow. You can do both hands. You can do one hand, whatever feels good. Deep breath. Oh. Why can't life just be easy already? I'm ready for the easy button. Are you ready for the easy button? Are you really ready for the easy button? I think I'm ready for the easy button. I want to be ready for the easy button. But I acknowledge that there's still shit going on in my reality that is showing me that I'm not ready for the easy button. Oh, it's frustrating. Side of the eye right here, side of the eye. Deep breath. Oh, it is frustrating. I'm frustrated right now. So much is clearing so fast. But it feels so big. It's so real. It's hard. I'm sick of hard. I'm sick of hard. Why can't my subconscious just catch up already? Please. Deep breath. Oh. Under the eye. I want to release control. I'm sick of trying to be in control. If you're just now hopping on, you can join in. You're not going to mess this up. I want to release control and I say I want to release control. But it's clear to me. My reality is showing me that I still want to be a control freak. In all the ways that there is not ease and flow in my life. I'm trying to control. Deep breath. <sighs> Under the nose. And I'm frustrated with myself because I won't release control. I'm frustrated with myself. I know I'm creating all of this. Deep breath. <sighs> on the chin. Frustration is resistance. Hello. <laughs> Frustration is resistance. I don't want to resist anymore. I at least want to try to stop resisting. Is that an oxymoron? <laughs> I want to try to stop resisting. Ugh, it feels hard. Does it feel hard to you? It feels hard. Beat the table. Oh my gosh. Let it be easy. Let it be easy. Oh, relax your shoulders. Deep breath. Ugh. Chest right here. Like under your clavicle, around, just tap everywhere around on your chest. Oh, are you dizzy? Are you feeling the clearing? Sometimes it gets bigger before it moves. And so if you feel like you're getting more frustrated and tapping, it's okay. The experience is different for everyone. It's always working. You cannot mess it up. It's always working. Always. Deep breath. <sighs> 
I'm ready for the easy button, y'all. And I'm gonna choose peace right now. I'm willing to acknowledge that peace is the answer, peace right now. I'm choosing as much peace as I can access right now. Deep breath. And I'm open to allowing, to opening up to more peace. You feel the softening? Peace. I am peace. Deep breath. I choose peace. And now we're going to go right underneath, right underneath our breasts. I'm thinking of the white witch right now. It's kind of an inside joke. <laughs> they may know what I'm talking about. But they may not remember. Right underneath your breasts, right there at the top of your rib cage. Or I guess the bottom. Right? That'd be the bottom. You can't mess it up. Thank God, since I'm leading you. Right there at the bottom of your rib cage, relax your shoulders. Oh, deep breath. Oh, exhale with a moan. Oh, I'm ready to let it all go. I choose peace. And I love my body. I love my body. I'm going to try to love my body the best I can. I'm opening up to more love for my body. More love for all aspects of myself. Okay, now we're going to go under the arm right here. And you can reach across and do both. Hug yourself. Hug yourself. Or you can just do one. Either way. And uncross your legs. If your legs are crossed, uncross your legs. Soften your hips. Every time we soften, we are releasing trauma. We are telling our body we are safe. Deep breath. <sighs> I choose peace. I am inviting a new, more expansive experience in my life. Relax your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Okay, now stop tapping for a minute and tell me how you feel. Do you feel the vibration? Do you feel the opening? Maybe you don't yet and that's okay. We're gonna do one more round of tapping and you can do this as much as you would like to. And sometimes you do want to go through it multiple times. If you started at a 10 and you only work yourself down to a seven, do it again. Do it until, sheesh, give yourself at least a two. Deep breath. <sighs> Feel your heartbeat. Take a drink of water. We're not tapping to manifest the thing or the person, the experience. We're tapping to feel good now. When you release the expectation, good old law of manifestation, release the need and just feel good now, that's when it comes. Okay, let's go back to the head. Deep breath. Smile if it feels good. Smile if it feels good. I am peace. I am peace. Breathe. Ah. Now go right here. 
inside of your eye. Mm. I am my heaven on earth. Or at least I'm going to try to believe that I am my heaven on earth. I'm willing to explore the possibility that I am my heaven on earth. Sometimes it feels too big to access, right? And so we're just going to open up to the opportunity. If you're just now joining, just join in. You can't mess it up. Now outside of the eye here, deep breath. <sighs> I choose in this moment to release as many limiting beliefs about what is possible, about my ability to heal, about my ability to call in wealth in all the ways. I'm gonna release all of the limiting beliefs around those. Now, relax your shoulders, deep breath. <sighs> Under the eye. I am opening. I am opening to all of the magic. I'm gonna do two hands. I'm opening to all of the magic as much magic as I can right now. Deep breath. <sighs> Under the nose, smile. Feel your heartbeat. I am love. You know we're amplifying all of this, doing it together, right? I am love. If that feels too big, you can say, I'm open to believing that I am love in all of the ways. Chin. I am worthy. I am open to the knowing that I am worthy in all of the ways. Now go down here, collarbone again, all over, all over. Deep breath. Oh, if you need to move, move. You need to shake, shake. Do what you need to do to support your body to move it out, move it out. Shaking it out, all the chakras. I am opening, I am open to experiencing expansion. I am open to expansion. Okay, now under, under, right here, right under the breast, right there at the my rib, the bottom of my ribs is right here. <sighs> Try to relax your shoulders. I, sometimes I get tensed up because I'm tapping, you know, using those arms. You got to let those shoulders drop. Open that chest and tap, 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 tap. Deep breath. <sighs> Sigh it out. Sigh it out. Oh, my goodness. I'm feeling some movement. This is excellent. I am amazing. We are amazing. Say it. We are amazing. We are powerful. 
we came to tap into all the magic. Literally. And I'm open to it. I believe. I am the peace. I am the love. I am the everything that I desire. Waiting to flow forth from me as me, for me, for us. Mm. All right, now reach across, under, reach across. Smile, oh, this feels good. Keep your legs on cross. I just tried to cross my legs. Stay open, stay open. Your arms are already crossed, so keep your legs open. Deep breath. <sighs> oh, the heat's moving in. I feel the heat, okay. Relax your hands, feel the vibration. Feel your shoulders drop. Smile. We have made space. We have activated the life force energy in, on, and around our body through tapping. We have signaled to the body that we are safe. We have honored our body by bringing awareness to it because how often do we really love and touch and hold our body with intention? And let's just sit with this for a moment. Oh, we've created this massive opening. Let's not let it go to waste. Let's stay here a little longer. Let's see where spirit takes us. Now, do you feel that your ability to be present in the now, to be still and open, is enhanced by honoring your nervous system first. Sometimes a good round of tapping is necessary before meditation because it puts us in that sweet spot. Feel the energy, feel your energy field. Feel the subtle shift around you. Feel your higher self. surrounding you, your soul. We are a body and a soul, not a soul in a body. We are infinite. Feel the infinite, the infinity, <laughs> is infinite a word? Feel this larger aspect of you that stretches beyond the beyond the beyond. We are limitless. We know exactly what we need. Deep breath. Now source is pouring into us. Look up in your mind's eye and see source as the great central sun Pouring out 
the nectar of unconditional love into our crown chakra. And notice who is holding the great central sun. It is you. It is your infinite superconscious soul pouring unconditional love into you. Deep breath. Pouring the expansion that wants to flow through you, into you, to express itself as you, all around you. And now, look around and visualize the magic that you seek to create in the beautiful world around you. Smile. It's all already here. Feel your heartbeat. I feel you. <sighs> See the light of God, of you. It's one and the same. See it flowing down over your body, into your chakras. Into every organ of your body. Into every cell. Every ladder of DNA. Blessing you with light from the divine. Perfecting every template within and around your body. Allowing you to access your highest truth. For the greatest good. Right now. See, I see the energies moving. I'm going to be here for a moment in the stillness. I'm just going to watch the energy stabilize. Breathe. if you feel like it. So good. We are so good. We are so safe. We are so magical. We are peace. Deep breath.
Relax your hands. I'm hot. When you're ready, coming back or popping off and staying in this space, that's good too. Open your eyes when you're ready and tell me in the comments how you feel. If I can see it, I'm going to fix this so that I can see comments the next time. Mm. And really, even if I can't see your comment, putting it in the comments is really grounding it in for you. You know, talking to someone about this experience grounds it in for you. You could even send me a voice memo and messenger and tell me what you experienced. I would really like that. <laughs> tell me what you experienced to ground it in. So I am hosting a rapid manifestation masterclass on 9-9 at 9 central. If you would like to join, look on my page. Where did I put it? It's on my feed. Message me. I will be happy to send you details. It's going to be magical. We're going to be doing breath work, EFT tapping, and a rapid manifestation technique with Archangel Michael. It's going to be magical. It's going to be amazing. It will be a two-hour session where we will connect um, and we can actually engage. So if you're curious, you can Put something in the comments that you would like to join. I'll get you information and exchange information as well. And um, it's going to be great. So, all right. I'm like, whoa, come back, Monica. We're trying to talk to people. All right. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. Happy weekend to you. I love you. I am really feeling an opening and really showing up for myself online, coming out of hermit mode. And so you'll be seeing a lot of me for now anyway. All right. I love you all. Thank you so much.